Hello, welcome to plsql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, we will discuss conditional control using if then statement. So, if then statement looks like this. This is a syntax. So, if some condition, then one or more statements. Okay, so and finally, we provide and if sent, uh, keyword to tell Oracle that uh, if statement is over. So if this condition is true, whatever condition you have provided here, if this condition results in true, then all these statements will be executed. Otherwise, if this condition is false, none of these statements will be executed and simply Oracle will see what is after. Oracle will try to look for and if keyword and Oracle will execute the next statement given after and if. So flowchart looks like this. Okay, if start, like if condition, if the condition is true, then all the statements after the keyword then is executed okay let me go back so let me go back here so if the condition is true all the statements uh, specified after the keyword then this is then are executed okay and finally as soon as oracle hits and if then oracle knows that if condition is over and then oracle keeps on uh, keeps on executing all the statements after and if but if this condition is false Oracle searches for and if and simply Oracle jumps to and if and try to execute next statement given after and if there could be another if statement okay or could be anything else okay so let's uh, log in SQL SQL commands okay so let's write uh, let's write a program so declare begin end okay so just these are the uh, sections so let's uh, declare a variable let's say x or maybe make it more interesting score score is a variable it's a number type and in the begin section we initialize the variable score with let's say 50 okay now we are gonna write if statement if score v score value in v score is less than uh, is less than 40 then you write on the screen usually uh, you give couple of like uh, spaces uh, so it, so that it's easy to read that uh, you, the whole if uh, the whole if clause will be uh, visible immediately right if you give a couple of spaces here as you're gonna see at the end so if v score is less than 40 then display on the screen this dbms output put line you have failed okay and finally uh, we provide an end if so that Oracle knows that the if condition is over. Okay, let me run this program. Control enter. Okay. So the score is 50. So we uh, we have not failed basically, right? So the score is 50. So this condition is not executed. Okay. So in order to make things interesting let's write here about to execute if statement and once if statement is executed we at the end we just write if statement if statement has been executed usually programmers put statements like these in the program for debugging debugging means trying to troubleshoot where the problem is okay uh, so once debugging is over they just simply remove the statements okay or they comment it out in coming tutorials I'll show you how to comment things out uh, but commenting means the statement is there but yet compiler doesn't read it because you don't want compiler to read it anyway so this is what we have right now so let me run this program So about to execute if statement if ex statement has been executed okay and uh, so this statement never got executed because this condition was false 50 is not less than 40 so if our score is 20 
and we run this program again control enter then you see three statement about to execute if statement you have failed if statement has been executed okay so the simple example simple example of if statement here instead of providing a value we can use bind variable so we can say colon score now we run the program first oracle is going to ask us to provide the value for a score so if we provide a 10 then submit so oracle is going to print the message you have failed let me run this program again and now i'm going to provide 90 submit now i'm not going to get the message that you have failed okay so here is a simple example of uh, usage of if statement in the next tutorial we're going to complicate things a little further and I'll see you in the next tutorial.